Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? Our voyage from the Orient ends tomorrow evening. Captain and the crew, hope you've all had an enjoyable cruise. To climax the festivities, I introduce our distinguished fellow passenger, Mandrake the Magician. Thank you. As we're going to be a bit informal this evening, I'm going to begin by asking someone in the audience to suggest a bit of magic. Then how about you, Percy? Well, I guess we'd all like to know how to get rich quick. Very simple. I'll begin by taking a little contribution from you. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, I will pass among you, and I want you to give till it hurts. <laughs> Just another reason why gentlemen prefer blondes. <laughs> ah. Thank you for your generosity, Captain. <laughs> ah, the air is full of mystery. <laughs> Most young ladies carry it in their stocking. No offense. <laughs> it isn't paid. <laughs> the thought. King's Ransom, ladies and gentlemen. My next trick will be one that I've brought from the hidden land of Tibet, land of mystery. I have here a candle. I'm going to light. Be careful not to burn the candle at both ends. <laughs> Here's a tube. Any of you care to inspect it? There's nothing in it. You're quite satisfied there's nothing in it. All right. You proceed to put the tube over the candle very carefully so as not to put out the flame. Ah, what have we here? My favorite flower. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to be very careful. Keep one eye on the candle, one eye on the flower. Watch carefully. One, two, three. Shall we see if the candle is still lighted? Ah, love. The part of the candle. Candle. Thank you. Now I will show you a trick that anyone can do at his breakfast table. As you can see, there is nothing in the teacup. I assure you, ladies and gentlemen, that these are ordinary teacups that I got from the dining room stool. These little balls are the handiest things I could find around here. There is no connection between the balls and the teacup. They never saw each other before. I wonder what the steward will do with these teacups when I return them to him. That is, if I return them. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you watch very closely, I am positive that you will agree with me that the hand is quicker than the eye. As I said before, the hand is faster than the eye. I take the ball from under the teacup and put it in my pocket and look under the teacup again. But the ball is still there. Then I take this one and put it in my pocket. But it is still here. You know, these little balls have a funny habit. I keep putting them in my pocket, but they won't stay there, because we always find them under the teacup. Well, I hope you are enjoying this, ladies and gentlemen, because I could go on doing this all day. And I know that if you'll watch very closely, you'll see what happens to the little balls. Funny where they come from, and I hope it's funnier to see them go. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the masked wizard who will entertain you with magic and illusion.
Ladies and gentlemen, for my first trick, I will need the use of a scarf. Pardon me, you don't have mine. Ladies and gentlemen, I will attempt the old Hindu rope trick. 